Hi, my name's Gary at Broad Lane, and today I'd like to talk about five common mistakes that we um, see um, within our industry, as in the car industry. Customers, new customers, uh, especially where they're hitched up to the vehicle, or at least they think they've hitched up to the vehicle, uh, and maybe um, we've had a, a second check um, and um, they, they actually haven't. Um, and the result being that uh, when they, they, they drive away, so to speak, the, the caravan hitch actually comes off the back of the vehicle tow ball. Um, so what we do is uh, part of the hitching up process with our customers, whether they be uh, new customers, uh, first timers, or in fact, uh, existing customers, we'll hitch them onto the back of the tow ball of their tow vehicle. And we'll do a simple check, and that is that we'll wind the jockey wheel anti-clockwise and what that then does is lifts up the back of the vehicle um, and it just highlights then that the hitch of the caravan has coupled up with the tow bar of their vehicle now if it wasn't coupled up correctly it would have actually have disengaged it's a super super easy check um, I do it myself as I know do my colleagues um, and that would ensure that um, you have coupled up correctly so that would probably be um, common potential with state number one, if that makes sense. Uh, another another thing we see um, quite frequently is that uh, customers will come into to the branch and uh, they'll have a look around the uh, caravans that we've got here for sale and uh, they'll then speak to one of us sales guys and say, oh, we're interested in that caravan, for example, and uh, we then ask, what tow vehicle they've got, they then will respond with, oh, don't worry about that, I know my car can tow that caravan, uh, when in fact they can't. Um, we use the tow safe system, um, we just need some simple details, uh, essentially the vehicle reg number, and that will tell us then uh, immediately the customer's tow vehicle details. We marry that up against the um, caravan that uh, that person may be interested in, and we just ensure that that is a correct and safe match. Um, so that's a that's a sort of common potential mistake number two. Okay, so um, another point then that um, we we hear from time to time. Is, uh, we may take a phone call for example on a Saturday morning or lunchtime and we've got some people arrived on site and uh, they're, they're, they're querying why they haven't got power to their power sockets. Um, they happen to be on a rally field for example um, or a, a meadow somewhere and they actually haven't got mains hookup. Um, straight away they're not going to have access to mains, it's as simple as that. So your, your main sockets within your touring caravan will only ever work if you are physically plugged into mains electric and we, we, uh, we do hear that uh, uh, from time to time. So number four, um, again we hear from time to time a common mistake, people say oh we're on site and uh, we've got no running water but my aqua roll's full. Um, quite often it's simply this, that um, under the um, seats, you'll find the drain down valve. It's a yellow valve. It should be in the horizontal position. Uh, more often than not, it's in the vertical position. And what's happening is you've got water coming into the van and it's actually being dumped um, to the underside. And again, you'll know this because your Corral was full of water, but it's rapidly emptying. You've got a big puddle of water underneath the van and it's quite simply that you've got the drain down valve in the open position. That's vertical. It just needs to be closed in the horizontal position. That will cure that. The only other thing to add then is that um, some of the submersible pumps um, have a float system um, where you've got an inboard pump within the caravan and especially on hot summer days the float system has actually floated to the top of the surface and therefore it's not fully submerged into the aqua roll and that's why you've got no running water so that's another common thing that we, we can hear about from time to time okay number five um, and that is people um, asking that uh, their motor move is not working uh, first and foremost you've always got to make sure your battery's in really really good condition 
condition. Let's assume it's in good condition. You know that because the, all the lighting within the van is nice and bright and your uh, digital or analog control is showing you the battery's in good condition. More often than not, it's quite simple that you've got a master switch. It's an on-off switch, it's a red key. Um, it's normally housed within the battery locker and it's not turned on. So locate your key, turn it clockwise to on, turn your handset on, and I would wager more often than not, your uh, motor mover will then work. However, um, should it not, it might well be that your handset has powered down power it back up. Now that may also mean turning the master key back to off, turning it back to on, turning the handset back on, and then I think you'll find most of the time your motor will, your motor will be working again. Okay, so I hope you've uh, enjoyed that little um, synopsis or summary, if you like, of uh, five common mistakes um, that we see throughout, throughout the year, year after year, really. They're all sort of quite common um, minor mistakes if that makes sense. It can happen to, dare I say, newbie caravanners, uh, first time caravanners, uh, existing caravanners, etc. So uh, yeah, hope you've enjoyed that uh, top five common mistakes. Uh, once again, I'm Gary Abraham.